Hey, Black Belt Collector, back with another one. So, finally going to build Cyborg. Really excited to get to that. But I actually have another figure that I'm going to open up for the video. Because I figured this would be a really short video of me just putting this guy together. And I didn't want to do it at the end of the Wonder Woman video. kind of wanted it to be its own separate thing. Because I've got this guy right here. So, of course, the last figure from... Flashpoint that I have not opened yet, and it is the unmasked Thomas Wayne Batman from Flashpoint. So, you know, huge spoiler. If you haven't read Flashpoint, definitely go read it. But whenever Barry finds Batman, it's not Bruce. It's Thomas Wayne, and it's just such a cool moment. So that's why I decided to go with the unmasked head. That's kind of what makes this Batman unique, is that it's Thomas Wayne, and he uses guns, of course. I mean, look how old this figure is. He actually comes with guns. I wonder if it says somewhere on here. I'm sure it does. Dates probably there somewhere. Not to, 2021. So pretty pretty old. I mean, look at the the wave there that it came with. Anyway, let's crack this guy open build Cyborg, and enjoy some figures. All right, you know what? He actually wasn't nearly as hard to get out of the package as modern figures are. This is so old that he did not have the zip ties all over his ankles and wrists and everything. There was just one across his waist. So I'm like, okay, it's an old figure, so be gentle with it. Very stiff. Very stiff, and look at those ugly ball ankles. Yeah, so he's done a much better job of getting rid of those and having the much nicer style of ankles that he has now. Like that. Here's the Superman. So, yeah, huge difference. Looks so much better. But, it came with guns. How cool is that? So, of course... The thing that made this Batman unique was when you first saw him was that he's using guns and you're like, oh, that's crazy, you know, a Batman that kills people. So it's kind of just a cool play on how, of course, Batman doesn't kill people. Does he, though? You know, throws people off buildings and stuff. But anyway, got a couple of guns. So I do like the sculpt, of course, the red underneath the bat. And actually, you can kind of see cowl pulled down over his neck very cool again i would have gone with either one really but i opted for this one one it just kind of made sense if you're going to get this unique version get the unmasked one that's that sort of shows off what made it cool you know that it was thomas wayne when he revealed himself but two he was dirt cheap this guy was like 10 bucks so you know he's been sitting in my collection for a long time unopened just kind of waiting i finally decided to just buy the flash on ebay that's kind of what took me so long to open these figures but yeah i mean definitely a little older style figure but for what it is it looks cool sword i don't really know why he came with a sword maybe there's a scene where it's hanging on a wall or something don't remember him ever using a sword but let me know in the comments, because I cannot remember. It's been a while since I read Flashpoint. I do have the Omnibus. So, this guy is going to look really cool on my Batman shelf. Man, let's put together Cyborg. Got the head. Really like the look of this. I love the metal that wraps around his jaw. That looks really, really cool. Got a little red right there from something. Nice. Very cool. Star Labs. I don't really remember what's up with this symbol. Like, if that's the normal cyborg symbol, if that's sort of unique, the Flashpoint. Man, he's got some huge legs. Good lord. Feel like the legs could have probably been a little bit smaller. Oh, look at that. Looks like the shoulder joint, uh, the shoulder pads kind of pop in and out. That's cool. 
I didn't even notice that before. So, look how tall he is. I mean, look how tall he is compared to Thomas Wayne. Let's see, it's always a little awkward when you first put these guys together. Afraid to pop them out of the joints. So, you can actually just kind of remove that and then pop this sucker right in there. There we go. I love when you hear a strong click like that. And then put that back. Man, he looks awesome. Let's do the same thing over here. Pop that out. Oh, come on. Let's see. Now I could cut all this out because it's kind of awkward, but you know, that's part of being a collector, right? You got to go through this kind of stuff. All right, I accidentally knocked these off again, so pop that back on, pop that back on. There he is. And yeah, I mean, he is definitely a presence on your shelf. So again, let me know in the comments. I can't remember if this is unique to Flashpoint or if this is kind of the standard like Star Labs cyborg symbol on his chest. I've never really read any... Teen Titans or Titans. That's something that I definitely want to do. Like read the old George Perez Teen Titans. It is on my list to be read. So I don't know much about Cyborg other than like the new 52 and beyond where he's a member of the Justice League and that sort of thing. And of course the Teen Titans cartoon that I watched when I was a kid. Stuff like that. But very cool to have this guy to the shelf. I love this huge gun arm that he comes with. I don't know what kind of blast effect you could possibly put in here that would look really cool. But yeah, there is Cyborg. Let's kind of move him over. Oh, I forgot to show off the card. Look at that art. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful artwork. I'm going to throw it in the sleeve because I do like to collect the cards. Very cool. From 2017. Hmm. That doesn't seem right. Flashpoint's older than that, isn't it? Am I crazy? All right, so there's Cyborg, Thomas Wayne, Batman. Very cool. Of course, my favorite figure from the actual wave was Flash. Had to pay over retail for him loose on eBay, but it is what it is. It wasn't too crazy. I bought him in a, a lot with a few other figures. Then next up, I really wanted Superman because that is such a unique, cool version of the character. And we've got Aquaman with the horrifying screaming face. And of course, Wonder Woman, which I just reviewed the other day. So... Overall, this is kind of my Flashpoint collection. Now, I feel like the Cyborg doesn't have to be Flashpoint at all. It can just be a Cyborg for your collection. Same with Flash. This is actually the Flash that I just kind of have on my Justice League shelf. And this, Superman, will go right on my Superman shelf. Maybe I'll do a quick little run-through of those so you guys can see them. If you like to see the shelf tours and stuff like that. So... I don't really have a dedicated spot for the Flash and the Wonder Woman because kind of saving that Wonder Woman spot for the Collector Edition Wonder Woman. I just haven't opened her up yet. So Batman, of course, I have several Batman shelves, so he'll have a spot. No big deal. All right, let's go check it out. All right, just take a little look at the shelves here. So there's my Superman. I'm kind of working on this whole shelf here. I just threw Deceased right there as kind of a placeholder. This will be my Superman shelf. Of course, Mongol. I really like that Eradicator. That's one of my favorite Superman proper figures. Crypto and just for now, my Lex Luthor. It's kind of all I have and Zod kind of spilling off over here on the side. Got some Green Lanterns and stuff right there. I'm reading Volume 3 Green Lanterns right now. So I just went ahead and pulled the Titans up here. I've got Raven, Cyborg, Nightwing, and then 
Beast Boy right there. So, I think a lot of people thought this cyborg was too big. But, I mean, look how big Beast Boy is. So, it kind of works. And I do have Starfire. just haven't cracked her open yet. So, moving up here, you can see Barry. And then I've got some Justice League figures there. So, that's kind of my... Batman and Superman that I think go well together. Still haven't opened up my Hush Superman, which I think will maybe replace that one. I don't know until I open it. But the Batman shelf, um, Riddler's up there because I was just moving him around. He actually goes down here. But Joker, Bane, the Freeze, Batman Who Laughs, Catwoman, and then. Down, 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 down. I just kind of threw Thomas Wayne down there by Clayface and Red Hood. So, always a work in progress. Always moving the shelves around, moving books around, moving figures around. It's just part of collecting. It's part of my, it's my favorite part of collecting, really, just moving these guys around. Oh, Batwoman. I'm sorry, Batgirl. It's kind of off here to the side. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, appreciate you. I think I'm going to do a action figure giveaway maybe want to hit 500 subs so if you made it this far i mean you must drop me a sub and let me know in the comments all right see you guys thanks for watching